It has been called the American Dream and has been featured in many Hollywood films. And when the limousine's acting career ended, they were abandoned in the parking lot as unnecessary. Only now the interested museum workers have finally taken away the property of the nation, having decided to restore it. There are many limousines in history that have broken this or that record. They say that the most expensive belongs to Trump, the most unusual is Elizabeth II, and the longest is Hollywood. This is the creation of the legendary automotive master Jay Orberg, the author of, for example, Batman Cars. He hatched the idea for a long time and decided to implement it in the early 80s. The Cadillac Eldorado was chosen as the base car. At first glance, the engineers faced an impossible task, the length of the limousine should be 100 feet, that is, 30.5 meters. An ambitious project required a complex implementation. Just imagine, 24 wheels, jacuzzi and helipad, diving pool, king's box and golf course. In this car, everything was twofold, two engines and two driver's seats, because it would be impossible to turn a 100-foot car on its own. The first question that arises for everyone who sees the American dream is how this car turns. The fact is that immediately behind the central group of the wheel there is a fracture, it can be seen in the photographs. At this point, the car is split and can thus turn, like a road train, the rear of the limousine is a trailer. The downside is that you cannot get from the front segment into the rear one without leaving the car. But the rear wheel can be detached and driven on a shortened version. The rear wheel group has the ability to turn, and there is a second driver's seat at the back from there the second driver controls just fitting into the turns. Unfortunately, the car is not certified for public roads, and from the filming location to the filming location it was transported by trucks, divided into two parts. The creation was completed in 1992. And then it got into the Guinness Book of Records as the longest car. However, in the future, the miracle machine was waiting for a sad fate. By 2014, the limousine was outdated and bored with viewers. He was dumped in a parking lot where vandals turned the car into a heap of scrap metal. And the Mastodon would have gone to the landfill if not for one of the American museums, which is ready to take the property of Hollywood for itself and restore it. The restoration will take more than one year, and the museum workers promise that the American dream will regain its former brilliance and gloss.